2019 off to a big start. We got Pat. It Say was, hi. Yo. <laughs> we got Josh and Jose. All right. Everybody's ready to go. We're pretty excited. We got an awesome project in store. Doing a Wolf PVC two-tiered deck. What do you think about that, Pat? Are you excited? I think it's great. What colors are we using? <laughs> That's a great question, man. <laughs> We're using two different colors on this. We're using amber wood and black walnut. What do you think about that? I think it's great. Which one's the accent color and which <laughs> one's the main color? It's another great question, man. This is this is really stupendous. We're going to use amber wood for all the field boards. We're going to use black walnut for the border. And then, a little treat for you. We're going to do horizontal amber wood decking trim around the whole thing. Uh, 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 uh. So we're staking out the perimeter of this deck. We are then gonna measure off of that, get our footing locations, get those dug today, get our sauna tubes in hopefully, get the ledger board up. It's gonna be awesome. What we're doing is we're spraying out all the footing locations. We got the outer dimensions of the deck all strung out. And um, yeah, putting an X where each footing goes so that we can bring the dingo in here, blast through these holes. We were gonna use the dingo, but the dingo is back at the shop. And there wasn't really much else to do until the lumber gets here. So we're just gonna dig them by hand, warm up a little bit for the season. What do you think, Josh? That's great. He's really excited. You can see that. to Lowe's lumber delivery did not come with the sound of tubes that we ordered so we gotta stop what we're doing run and get some so we just got out of Lowe's we uh, were filming in there and the store security came up to us said that we're not allowed to film in there that you're not allowed to have any footage inside the store and that if we didn't turn it off immediately we would be asked to leave and if any of that footage was uploaded, that we would be uh, we would be prosecuted. So the guy was pretty serious about it. So unfortunately, we will not be able to air the exciting footage of us picking up sauna tubes. But um, we might have to start using Home Depot in the future because it was great footage, really exhilarating stuff. And um, it's a shame we can't use it. But uh, but maybe next time. So we got the sauna tubes. We uh, we complied with the guy's orders and we narrowly escaped prosecution. But uh, we're headed back to the job site. We're back on track. So we got all the sauna tubes here. We've got them in the holes. Now what we do, I get a lot of questions about this. Watch out, Pat. <laughs> what we do is we set the tubes in the holes. We then backfill them with dirt until they're level. So you can see they're doing that right here. Put the level on there, get it in the center of the hole, backfill around it so that they don't move. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out the heights because on this lower deck, we are gonna have the beams sit right on top of the footing. So. We'll figure out the heights for that. We'll get them figured out with the zip level. We'll cut them. We're gonna get it filled with concrete. And then we can set the beams right on top and we'll be good. We're getting our heights figured out right now. We're using this new zip level I got this year. And what we're doing is we figured out exactly what height these tubes need to be at. So you can see Pat. It's getting this set. Once he gets that to the right height, Josh, he's gonna make a mark. 
Then we got our exact height. We're gonna cut these down, fill them with concrete, and then they'll be at the exact height we need them. We don't need to worry about four by fours later on. We just set the beam right on top and we're ready to go. <laughs> We got all the tubes cut. They're to the exact height that we need. We saw how we did that with the zip level, figure out what height we need so that we put the plate on there, we put the beam, we put the joist decking, finished heights exactly where we need it. It's way easier than messing around with little four by fours to get it to the right height. So, super easy way to do it. I've never really seen many people do it like this, but now as soon as the concrete's poured, we put our, uh, our, our bottom connector on there, lay the beam in, and we're framing. We're good. We don't got to sit around, level things. We're good. What do you think of that, Pat? I think it's great. You think that's a good strategy? I think it's way better than the competition. It's more efficient and it's more accurate. I think you're right. I think it's a good idea. I think a lot more people should do it this way. Unfortunately, the township is being a pain and they're not gonna be able to come inspect it till Wednesday. So tomorrow, we got the base stone coming for the patio. We're gonna dig this out tomorrow. We're gonna get all the stone base in. We are gonna put up the ledger boards. We're gonna get it ready. Wednesday, we'll get it inspected. Wednesday, we'll pour the concrete. Thursday, we'll be framing this thing. We're gonna be flying through this. It's gonna be amazing. So we're heading home, pretty exhausted, getting back in shape. Haven't moved much this winter, was in a deep, deep hibernation, but we are emerging. And the deck is moving along nicely. Pat, are you still as excited as you were this morning? I know that was a long time ago. You were telling us how excited you were. It was almost full eight hours ago. Um, I'm still as excited for the project. I'm not as excited for my physical well-being in the forthcoming days because I basically did nothing for the past six months and now I'm getting thrown to the wolves out there. You are tough getting stuff. thrown to the wolves. It is tough stuff. It's, you know, it's not for everybody, but um, I think you've got a tough spirit, Pat. I think you're going to be all right. I think we're going to push through, rise above, as you stated earlier. Yes. Put me up on a deck. We're going to take you out of that pit of despair that you were previously in. We're gonna perch you up on top of a nice two-tiered deck. You know, instead of being thrown to the wolves, we're gonna put you on a wolf PVC deck. It's gonna be freaking beautiful. Freaking amazing. So that's pretty much it. Stay tuned tomorrow. Again, we got kind of delayed with the inspector. You know, the bureaucracy and all that kind of nonsense. So we had to switch it up a little bit, but uh, Stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to get some awesome stuff done. I'm excited for tomorrow. So you should be too. Tune in. Over and out.